Welcome to the second volume of developing realistic shaders in Arnold for Cinema 4D. In this series of premium tutorials, in more than 8 hours, we learn how to develop advanced and realistic shaders in Arnold for Cinema 4D. My name is Kamel Khezri and I'll be your host in this course. This is the second volume of a series of courses created at MoGraphPlus.com intended to introduce the tools and workflows for creating complex and realistic shaders utilizing solid angles Arnold render in Cinema 4D. Our goal in this course is not only how to create realistic shaders, but before that how to train your eyes to see real world surfaces and analyze their futures and then recreate those surfaces and shaders in Arnold. In the second volume, we'll be covering three major shader categories wood, leather, and translucent shaders. For each category, first we try to familiarize you with the futures of that shader type in real world and then show you how to recreate those futures using Arnold shaders and nodes. We start with wood shaders. In the first lesson of this section, after understanding physical futures of wood, we try to create a few examples of real world wood shaders and show you how to add different futures to make your shaders as realistic as possible. In the second lesson, we create a few painted wood examples and show you everything you need to know to make them very detailed and eye-catching. In the third lesson, first you'll learn how to approach interior lighting in C4D2A and after we finish lighting the room, we start to create different types of parquet shaders and hardwood flooring. The next category would be leathers. In the first lesson of this section, first we figure out how leather appears in real world and then we show you the basic approach to create different types of leather shaders. In the second lesson, we create a detailed vintage leather shader and show you how to replicate every little detail in the reference photo. The next chapter will be dedicated to translucent shaders. We start with a translucent marble sculpture and after understanding the physical features of such shaders, we start working based on our reference photo and at the end we are going to have a few amazing shaders that are going to look extremely realistic. In the next lesson we work on a realistic jade shader and I guess it should be really really fun. And in the final lesson we work on a very difficult assignment. We try to create a realistic chocolate shader and as we will be using AL surface shader from AL shaders, first we go through this particular shader and show you how it works. After that we focus on creating a few types of chocolate shaders using AL surface shader. For the majority of the course, we'll be taking a reference photo and use Arnold for Cinema 4D to recreate that shader, but to be as informative as possible, we might change that rule sometimes. Also, this is a live course, and if there is a request for a specific shader, I'll be updating the course with more videos so you can get the most out of this course. This is the last volume of developing realistic shaders in Arnold for Cinema 4D, and we will be updating this two volume with new video tutorials on a monthly basis. There is a lot to learn in this course and if you are trying to take your Arnold knowledge to the next level and learn how to build complex shader networks in Arnold, you are in the right place. Let's get started.